Hello and welcome to this quick video. This is about how you can use Betaflight to reverse the motors on your quad. Now I've done a couple of videos before. I've actually built a couple of quads on the channel and I've shown you how to use things like BL Heli Suite and other stuff as well. However, as of Betaflight 4.3, you don't have to download anything else. You can absolutely use the stuff that's already in Betaflight to do it with your quad. Now this, for those of you interested, is the Recon 6. Uh, this was from, I think, HGLR did this in collaboration with Dave C. I love the Recon 5 and Recon 6, but this is a great little example for me to plug in to show you how it all works. Now, as before with all the other tools, the ESCs do need to be powered, so it is going to be needed to connect to the battery. So make sure that your props are off when you're doing this. Betaflight gives us the option to run all the motors together so that we can see which direction they are running, but also to reverse it using a button in Configurator now as well. So obviously you're going to be having to run a digital protocol in order for this to work. So I'm running D-Shot on this, so it's going to work fine. So let's just be very quickly showing how it's going to work and the things that you do. So again, you need 4.3 or later Betaflight. Big tip is plug everything in before you plug it into the computer. So that's everything initialized. The ESCs are ready to go. Here on the computer, we have Betaflight running. So let's plug it in. And here in the Betaflight stuff, we have the motors tab. And there's a couple of extra things down here below, reorder motors and also motor direction. Now it just happens that on this particular quad, this Recon 6, the motors by default are reversed. So you can see exactly which way on the graphic they are supposed to move. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna click on the motor direction. It's gonna give us a massive warning to say, make sure your props are removed, absolutely. So I'll say, understand the risks. And there are two options. I'll show you the difference between the two. Wizard is pretty basic. Individually is a little bit smarter. So if we click on wizard, then we can click on start and stop motors. And that's gonna actually start the motors running. And we can also, by clicking on each of the numbers individually, it will briefly stop the motor. So this is motor one. You can see it stops very briefly and then we can stop the motor. So it allows you to very quickly check which is which rather than use the sliders and stuff down here. However, if we go into motor direction again, again, say that we're safe because we have the props off, we can do it all individually. And now we can select one or all the motors to spin. So let's say we're going to use this one down here. This should be motor three on the screen. So let's click motor three. It's only going to pulse very quickly. So it's not gonna run all the time. So we need to check it's moving in the right direction. If it isn't, then we can click here whether or not we want to reverse it or not. And we can work our way through each of the motors. So here's motor one running. Then motor two is going to be in the corner. That's the right way round. So we can check that each of the motors are in the right position. But if we want to reverse it, we can actually click when we test it, we can reverse it here as well, which is fantastically useful. So hopefully that is a little bit of trick some of you may have missed. I still actually like using the BL Heli Suite. It allows you to access lots of other things that you might want to tweak on your ESCs. But for simple reversing of motors, this is a really easy, simple way to do it without jumping out of configurator. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.